Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila, running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. You always do such a great job on that. Thank you. Today we're going to make Texas Toast Grilled Bologna Sandwiches with Tennessee Chow Chow. And here's something that just knocked me out. I was over at Kroger's, and every time I do a Texas Toast recipe, I think one of our recipes on our channel is Texas Toast French Toast made with Texas Toast. And I always go over to the bread section, and I find a loaf of Texas Toast. It's real thick sliced bread. But the problem is it's like $3.50 for a loaf, and when I come home and make a recipe for you nice folks, we only use about three or four slices for the recipe. Then what do you do with a whole two-thirds of a bag of Texas toast bread. You got to eat it up or freeze it or do something. I couldn't find the bread this time in the bread section, so I asked the one gal, I said, where's your Texas toast at? Are you out or something? She said, did you check the freezer section? And as much as I've used Texas toast through all, all these years in my entire life, I've never looked in the freezer section. So I go over to the freezer section and by golly, they got regular, they got garlic, they got three cheese, they got all kinds of Texas toast. It's only about $1.89 to $2.25. There's eight slices in here. You leave it in the freezer and it goes from the freezer right to your griddle or grill. It's perfect. That way I can make some stuff for me and Sheila and I'll take those extra slices and freeze them. It's just perfect. Let's get started with Texas toast grilled bologna sandwiches and get it out of your freezer section. Let's open this up and get started. I'll get to our Texas toast in just a minute. First, I want to prep this bologna. Now, I bought a package of thick sliced bologna, and we want to take those little rubber bands off the outside there. Actually, that's the casing. If you stand it up on end, they stuff a big casing like a chub at the factory, then they slice it up, and then they pack it up like this. So we're going to open this up here and get our thick sliced bologna out. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. To prep it for the griddle, I'm going to make a cut right down this side to start with, which will help me get these little bands off of here. All the way around. I haven't figured out what you can do with them yet, but it's got to be something troll for catfish or something, I don't know. But we'll get this casing off the outside. Then I'm going to line them cuts back up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go about a third of the way in from the center to the outside and just make a cut all the way down on all four sides. What do you think, Sheila? Looks good. Now I got to do one other thing because Sheila told me earlier. What did you tell me to do with this bologna? Cut it in the middle. She wants me to make a little hole in the middle so that when you griddle it, it doesn't dome up like a hubcap. Now we got our bologna ready for the griddle. And with those slits, it'll fry nice and flat instead of turning up like a dome, you know. Let me unbox this garlic toast here. And I've got to clean this up first. See you in a second. Now I mentioned I was going to unbox this garlic toast. This Texas toast is garlic flavor because I wanted it for this recipe. But they had regular and they had like three cheese and a bunch of stuff. And I haven't opened it yet. It came right out of the freezer. Sheila just brought it to me. And looky here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices in there. Just perfect. And these go frozen right onto your grill, right onto your griddle. I just need four of them. Of course, you know I got that video on that vac master machine. I'm going to pop these other ones in a vac bag and freeze it in the freezer. And these are going on the griddle. Now I got to kind of get the griddle out here and get it all started. We'll see you in a second. Now I got to tell you one thing. I am a little bit disappointed that these are so small because the Texas toast I buy in the store is bigger than that. So I'm going to go ahead and grill up all eight slices here. But I was really shocked that they were this small. They're great for, you know, serving alongside of spaghetti or whatever else you want. But we're going to make sandwiches out of these. And in my mind's eye, I'm thinking nice big piece, 
two or three slices of bologna. We're going to have to go single stack straight up to get this on these little guys, but we'll get her done. But I'm just going to go ahead and cook all eight of these slices or at least grill them up. Let me get them nice and golden brown and I'll turn them over and show you that in just a second. But I am a little bit disappointed that they're this small inside that package because I opened that package up right on camera with Sheila running that for the first time. I had never looked in that box before. But I'm thinking Texas toast would be about this big, like the bread that I buy. And that's what you might have to use if you want to make a bigger sandwich. But we're going to get by with these little, what should we call them, Texas toast sliders? That would be good. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Texas toast sli bologna sliders. That's what it is. It just got renamed right in the middle of this. See you in a second. You know, at first I was unhappy that they weren't that big, but now with our new name, our Texas Toast Grilled Bologna Sliders, I'm glad they're only this big. That's kind of perfect. All right, looky here. Aha. How'd I do there, Sheila? You did awesome. These are a lot softer to try to pick up because they were frozen when I laid them on there. And of course now, they're not frozen any longer. Get this side. Oh, it smells so good, man. Perfect, perfect. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, we're going to brown up the other side a little bit, but step over here with the camera, Sheila. I want to get a shot of this. All right, I got a little bit of mayonnaise in my dish here. And I'm going to add a little bit of brown mustard in there because me and Sheila go over to Firehouse Subs and I love their ham sandwich. And it has that combination of mayonnaise and a brown mustard. So I'm kind of making this. To replicate that and another reason is we're going to use provolone on one of these I'll give Sheila a choice on her cheese but they put provolone on there with that ham so there's our little extra sauce we're going to put on now let's get back over here and get our little teeny Texas toast slider oh perfect time to get them off there I'm just going to lay them right here right now don't move the camera Sheila I'm just going to get them off because I don't want them to burn and then I'm going to go right to putting the bologna on here. All right. I love the sound of sizzle. I might be able to get just exactly what I need. Isn't that something? We got eight pieces of bread. Which means we're going to make four sandwiches and we'll put two slices in each one. Just worked out just perfect. Let me get these nice and brown on one side. We're going to get them crispy along the edge and then we're going to flip them over. Alright, while our bologna is getting right with the world, let me give a little bit of this mayo-mustard combination on the bottom of our... Well, actually we're going to put it on the top and the bottom it looks like if I go on every slice. I think I'll do that. No, I'm only going to put it on the bottom so I only need it on four of them because the top is going to get our secret ingredient. Alright, perfect. Let me go back to flipping our bologna here. All right, let's give our bologna a turn. All right, got some nice color on there. I should have probably cut them little slits a little shallower, not quite so deep into the bologna slice, but that's all right. It keeps it going flat here. Get some nice color on the other side. Now we're going to plate these up. Okay, I turned off my grill, but I'm going to lay some provolone on half of these. Sheila, on your half, you want provolone or do you want mild cheddar? Baby Swiss. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> she wants baby Swiss. Do the words high maintenance come to... <laughs> you don't want any provolone on there with it, huh? Okay. 
All right, there's some baby Swiss on there for Shishi. And we're just going to kind of let that set and soften up, and then we're going to put it on top of our Texas toast. We'll see you in a second. All right, it's time to get serious. I'm going to use some leaf lettuce here, and what I did, I kept one piece together so I could show you. I tear it and take that little stem out of the middle there, and then I kind of tear these into just pieces about the size of, oh, I don't know, a coffee cup or so, and they're so soft and they lay so good on a sandwich that you can put on as little or as much as you want. I love this leaf lettuce, especially for hamburgers. It just gets on there perfect. Now, let's add the star of the show. These are going to kind of hang over to one side. There's Sheila's. Baby Swiss. Baby Swiss's. She gets two for each little slider. We might need a bigger plate when we get done here. And here's my provolone. Double decker. Oh, that looks so good. That really looks good. And we're going to have some meat hanging over the side, which is just fine. Let me move this front and center and finish this up. All right, let's give these a thin slice of tomato on each one. This is that tomato I had left over from the other day. Well, it's time for the secret ingredient, which is made right here in Tennessee. They make several different chow chows all around the country, but this is Tennessee chow chow, and we love the mild. They make a mild and a hot. You know, Sheila, she don't like real, real spicy stuff. And I love the video they did on this factory here in Tennessee where they chop up all their own cabbage and they put in all the sugar and the vinegar and the ferment it and they jar it up right here in Tennessee. It's so handmade and so delicious. Now, on our channel, we have a barbecued bologna recipe. I'm going to put it at the end of this video. It's so delicious. And right now, it has over 300,000 views. And it's marinated bologna chub, and then it's done on the barbecue, and then it's smoked. Uh, it's, it's just phenomenal. But I, I kind of remember something moving to the south here that that barbecued bologna recipe has coleslaw on top of it. And I got thinking, this is a recipe from a restaurant down south here, and I got thinking, isn't that something? Here we are with bologna, and we're putting kind of a coleslaw on top. They love to mix their slaw, or in this case, Tennessee chow chow, with their bologna, whether it's grilled, whether it's smoked, barbecued, Whatever. How am I looking, Sheila? Looking really pretty. That's a good combination. Might have to turn the camera off so I can get a spoonful of this stuff. It's so delicious. And I love that fried bologna for breakfast. Oh, man. And on these little sliders here. And that is our secret ingredient. Tennessee chow chow. And then we'll put a little lid on top of these. And this is hanging over so far I can't tell which way the bread's going underneath but I think I'm right look at this kinda twist them down there a little bit wow you know me I love to mash stuff because I want it so I can fit it in my mouth of course I got a big mouth but I still love to have it so it fits in there pretty good what do you think Sheila it does, doesn't it? We're going to cut them in half when we get ready to eat them. But let's take a picture of this so we can put it on our YouTube channel as the thumbnail picture, okay? All right, thank you, Sheila, for doing a great job with those pictures. You're welcome. Now, here's the thing. Sheila always has me cut corner to corner. But on these little sliders, we're going to cut straight across. Is that okay, Sheila? Just on this sandwich? Yes, just this sandwich. All right, because it's hard to go corner to corner on an oblong piece of bread. Man, it just feels so nice down through there. And take a look at what we have here. We got our mayonnaise and mustard. We got our two layers of thick cut bologna with cheese in it. Our tomato and most importantly, our Tennessee chow chow. I got to have a bite of this slider. Now, I'm going to have to turn the camera off because you're going to hear me smacking for a while, but I'll be right back. Mmm.
I got to talk with my mouth full because the chow chow is the first thing that hits your palate. Man, it is so delicious. Wow, time for another bite. I love nibbling the little extra meat that hangs over the side. Mm, so you can square it up with the world. That Texas toast is so crunchy. I was going to make a great big Texas toast fried bologna sandwich, but they turned into Texas toast bologna sliders. Mm. One more bite, but we'll, we'll go to a wide shot. See you in a second. Wow. What's that, my baby Swiss? <laughs> no. Your baby Swiss is here and here. You think I... Yes. Thank goodness. Mine is provolone here and here and baby Swiss is here and here. No, I didn't eat your baby Swiss, Sheila. I feel better now. Okay. <laughs> Every now and then we come out with a recipe that is really tasty, and this is one of them. Whipped up a little bit of that mustard and mayo combination to put in there. Got some of this Texas toast out of the freezer section at Kroger's. I didn't even know it was in there. Don't be shocked when you find out it's only this big around, which is perfect for making Texas toast grilled bologna sliders. And don't forget the Tennessee chow chow. Use Tennessee chow chow if you can find it. If you have to, you can use another brand. But once you put all those combinations together, I think you're just going to love this recipe. I hope you enjoy our recipes, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here at the end of the video. When it does, click on that, and a little bell will appear next to subscribe after you subscribe. Click on that. That way you'll be notified every time we come out with a new recipe. And I know exactly what recipe I'm going to put right over here. Our barbecued bologna. Over 300,000 views on it right now because it's so fantastic. This whole bologna combination thing with the slaw or the chow chow, it's got me sold on this southern cooking. Where'd you girls come up with all this wonderful stuff, Sheila? In the south. That's what I thought. Is this the most delicious slider, Texas toast grilled bologna slider you ever ate? Help me out, Sheila. If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Remember the ingredients are always right underneath the video. Don't forget to check out our website at shotgunred.com if you have to be snooping around. Our fish breading's on there. It's out of this world. We now have that available. And a lot of videos and stuff and some goodies for Christmas that you might pick up and watch us do our performances. We have DVDs and all that. I'm just talking too much. I need to go back to having me another bite of this Texas Toast Grilled Bologna Slider. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Thanks again, Sheila. You're welcome. Bye-bye for now.